Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have not filmed in a minute. I was on vacation and so I had some pre-filmed content for you guys and then when I got home there was some construction going on at my house. We replaced our floors so that was kind of noisy and then I ended up getting sick. So I haven't filmed in a minute so I'm excited to film this and it's just going to be a chatty get ready with me. We'll talk about life and um, just everything that's been going on lately with me and in the world. So I'm still a little bit sick. My voice is still a little gravelly, so just bear with me there. Um, and uh, before we get into today's video, I want to remind you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me when you guys subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. And um, make sure that your notifications are turned on so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video. So uh, let's hop right in. I'm trying out a new foundation that I've never tried before, just new to me. It's the Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation, and it's the undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. I'm going to be doing a full day wear test of this one, so make sure you guys are subscribed and ring the bell so that you are notified when I upload that video. So let's scoot you guys in. Let's do the rest of the face products, and let's just chat a little bit about life and what we've all been going through. Okay, so we are up close and personal. Let's finish the rest of our makeup. So let's do some bronzer. I'm just gonna go with one of my favorite bronzers, which is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Um, I have been out of town, you guys. I went to visit my family. They live in Pennsylvania, and um, I had a wonderful time. My grandma is 90 years old. She'll be 91 this year, so um, it was such a joy to get to see her. Haven't seen her in two years because of the pandemic. Um, we all waited to be able to get vaccinated before we traveled to see her because we wanted her to be safe as possible. And she got vaccinated and uh, most of our other family has been vaccinated that live in other states so we were able to visit her this year and um, I think that she really needed that. She's been lonely and I think it's really good for her to have people around. There's people that live up there but you know people have jobs and they have lives and you know you can't fault them for that and when we go up there we're on vacation so we just we have that luxury of spending all that time with her that the people up there don't, you know, necessarily have. So it was really nice to get to visit her. Um, I was really thankful that we were able to do that this year. Uh, the weather up there is amazingly beautiful. They live right um, kind of close to the Canadian border in Pennsylvania, so pretty, pretty far up north. Um, I flew, my parents drove, they just, that's just what they prefer. Um, I've driven before with them, and <clears throat> it's fine, but um, being pregnant and just, you know, being in this state, I didn't want to have to sit in the car, and the plane tickets were relatively inexpensive, so I just opted to fly this time. I didn't bring my kids with me. Um, I just went by myself, which was really nice. Um, just pause for a second. We're going to try this new Jason Wu um, Matte Agave Bl um, not blush eyeshadow palette. It's an all matte palette. I'm excited to use it. I saw this at Target um, and I picked up a couple of the Jason Wu products. So um, let's get into that. But yeah, you guys, it was kind of nice to just go by myself and not have to worry about the kids, you know, needing to be entertained or, you know, worry about bringing their car seats and all that. Um, I love my kids, obviously, but it's kind of nice to have that alone time, that mom time. And um, soon I'm going to have three kiddos, so it was kind of nice to get that time in before... Um, I reached that stage of life, you know. So this is an all matte palette. Um, it doesn't have the shade names, I don't think. 
So I'll insert some swatches for you guys. And when I insert the swatches, I'll just go like three, three, and three. Okay? So that you guys know. And we'll go from light to dark, light to dark. Okay? So let's just start out. Let's lay down a base. And let's see here. I'm going to go right into this shade right here. It's kind of like a peachy shade. It's kind of almost the same color as my skin. But yeah, you guys, what have you guys been up to? What have you guys been doing? Um, I've been working a lot. Our hospital census is very high right now um, with the new variant of COVID. <clears throat> and, you know, strangely enough, our, I work in labor and delivery, and I work in the emergency department for labor and delivery. But strangely enough, our census has also been high. Um, I don't know if that's really strange or not, but we have had a lot of sick moms with this new variant, and it's just been really challenging, you guys. It's, it's really hard to watch people... Um, being sick and struggling to breathe and um, being scared and it just kind of compounds that whenever you've got somebody who's carrying another life you know they're worried about their baby their focus isn't solely on themselves but you know the first rule of OB for us is that we save the mom first you know because with no, without the mom we have no baby so it's just been a really challenging time for us, um, the nurses in the other units in the hospital. It's been really challenging for them because their census is a lot higher than ours. And a lot of their patients are a lot more critical than ours. And, you know, even when our patients become critical, they become their patients. So um, I really feel for them and I'm, I'm really sad for them that they're having to go, kind of go through this, you know, it's, it's really hard because as a nurse, you're wanting to take care of your patients, you're wanting to do the best for them, and, um, you know, sometimes that's not always, um, an option, just based on the condition of your patient and the availability of resources. Um, our hospital does not do ECMO. We do have a local hospital that does and we're very fortunate that um, sometimes we can transfer over there. But sometimes that's not always possible because they can only have so many ECMO machines running at one time and there's also only so many available. So, um, that's just a really hard thing, you guys. <clears throat> and as a nurse, you always want to do everything you can for your patient. And it's frustrating because you want these patients to be okay. And it's frustrating when they're not vaccinated and they're really young and they're leaving behind a family and children because um, there was the option to get the vaccine, you know. Not everyone has that option because some people are immunocompromised and some people are too young to get the vaccine. But um, it's really hard when people don't um, want to get it. And everyone has their own personal choice and their own personal freedom, and I respect that and I advocate for that. But I also advocate for making decisions based in evidence and science. And the evidence shows that the vaccine is effective and the risk for side effects are extremely low. And even if you do have side effects, the risk of the side effects of COVID is death. And the long-term side effects of COVID are... Um, starting to get studied a little bit more. They're finding permanent brain damage and a lot of other um, permanent damage to internal organs. So to me that's very scary 
Um, that's not something I want to deal with. I would rather deal with the effects of the vaccine, like, you know, joint pain or some people have said they have ringing in their ears and things like that. Um, I would much rather deal with that than years down the road when I'm 40 and I just dropped out of a heart attack because my cardiac system has been so destroyed by COVID. That's just my personal opinion, you guys. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. I try to base my opinion in fact and medical research. And that is, you know, how I formulate what's going to be the best thing for my family. And you have to do that for your family as well. But it's just been a really hard and stressful road for the nursing community and just the medical community in general. It's just not something that anyone ever anticipated. Like, not that when you get into nursing, you're not like, oh, I'm never going to have to take care of a sick person. Like, I'm never going to have to take care of, you know, working in the middle of a pandemic. But it's just not something that crosses your mind whenever you decide to become a nurse. You know, you're not, you're wanting to help people. You're wanting to, you know, work in whatever specialty it is that is calling to you. And it's not, it's not something that you think about whenever you're in school or whenever you're deciding what you want to do. It's not something that you're like, oh, well, if I become a nurse, I might be working in a global pandemic and be so stressed out all the time. It's just not something that you really consider until it happens. All right, guys. So the eyeshadow palette is okay. I want to try it a couple more times. Um, I'm not... A huge matte like all matte look wearing type of person um, I do like some shimmer and some sparkle but these blended out really well um, they look really nice kind of getting a shadow over here I think it's just the, the lighting all right guys so I'm gonna finish the rest of the eyes off of camera and I will be back to show you guys the completed look Okay, guys the makeup is pretty much almost completed um, I wanted to pop back in and tell you guys that we are going to try out a new Jason Wu product um, along with the eyeshadow I have this lip pencil and I also have this lip um, I think they call it lip cream this is the honey fluff lip cream this is in the shade number one, and then the liner is also in the shade number one. And this is the lip cream. All right, so I'm gonna line my lips, and then we will go in with the lip cream. Okay guys, um, I <clears throat> I like the lip pencil. The lip cream is kind of weird. Um, it's just not what I was expecting when you pull it out of the tube. The applicator kind of like collects a lot. Uh, it's like a flat applicator and it collects like a lot of product on both sides and it doesn't really spread out very easily so um, I wasn't really expecting that I was expecting them to kind of be like the wet and wild cloud pouts that were really easy to spread um, but it feels really nice um, I like the shade um, so just kind of be I don't know if I got one that was like weird or <laughs> not good um, it didn't look like it had been used when I opened it so maybe it's just like maybe it got cold in my 
filming space. I don't really know. So we'll try that one out again and give it a, another shot. Um, I picked up a couple more shades of the liners and the lip creams and I will insert some swatches of those for you guys. Um, yeah, but this is our completed look. Let's finish off with some setting spray. Alright you guys, so um, that is it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, something a little bit different, a little get ready with me kind of chat to get things off my chest and just tell you guys what's been going on with me and how I've been feeling lately. And um, if you guys like that sort of thing, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so that you are notified when I um, upload videos. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of content you guys want to see. Um, I'm into doing anything and everything. I can do more lifestyle type things for you guys. I can do cooking. Um, I can share some recipes with you guys. I can do some sewing tutorials. Um, I can do all kinds of things just depending on what you guys want. Um, I love doing beauty and especially right now when it is such a stressful time for me personally I just feel like um, just disconnecting and just being in makeup and talking to you guys and just kind of having that disconnection from all the horrible things that are happening out there is um, just really helping me out a lot I'm glad to be back filming and um, I hope you guys stay safe out there I hope you're having a great day whatever you're doing and I'll see you in my next video bye